Okay, good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you uh, in our uh, webinar uh, for the best to control uh, advices or recommendations or best practices uh, to guarantee and protect the safety of your guests. Please allow me uh, to share some few uh, instructions or advices before we start. Uh, to make sure uh, you can follow up uh, correctly. Okay, make sure that you can hear, see the presenter screen and the camera. Uh, okay, uh, I understand everybody can hear me well and can see uh, the screen and myself. Otherwise, please uh, use the chat button, uh, what you can see here to present if you have any technical problem, you cannot hear or you cannot see or whatever. Yes, and I think my colleague Luisa will be uh, uh, helping you to solve this issue. Okay, in case you have some questions, uh, you can simply raise your hand to click on this button, as you can see, uh, or as usual, you can also use a chat. But normally, uh, we would like to keep uh, all the questions just in case anybody has uh, any question by the end of, uh, of the meeting. OK. Also, I would like to advise that uh, this presentation uh, will be recorded. OK. So now we can already start. Uh, today, we have this agenda. Uh, I would like to start with a brief introduction for Preverisk Group, and then we can discuss about relevance or importance of the best to control auditing in the hotels. Also, I would like to go uh, into a little bit more technical details, uh, providing information about uh, what we cover in our pack for the best to control auditing as a Preverisk audit. So we cover the following and we will explain in detail uh, the importance of each, each kind of audit. So the first one is the safety and the effectiveness best to control in, in a hotel. And then the second type of audit is the simulation about bed bugs. And then the third one is a best to control audit in the staff accommodation. And we also include due to its highly importance for supporting the hotel to defend any potential claims in the future. A very nice, uh, well-developed bilingual best control documentation system. When I say bilingual, it's in English and in Arabic. And I will explain later on a little bit more about this point. And then we can finalize the meeting with the general conclusions. Okay, so please allow me to introduce myself. Uh, some of you know me, some of you are first time to see me. Uh, my name is Dr. Ahmad Karam, and I am currently uh, the Egypt Operation and the Business Manager for Preverisk. Uh, I have two master degrees in Agriculture and Environment, and I have one PhD degree in Sustainable Development. I have about 24, 25 years of professional experience in this career, and actually I joined uh, Preverisk since about uh, eight, nine years ago in 2010. Okay, so uh, to start with presenting about Preverisk, Preverisk is a consultation, auditing, training uh, company. Uh, right now, we are active in about 18 countries worldwide with 75 professionals and providing to the hotels or the travel industry about 6,000 annual physical audit and also 8,000 hours of annual consultation. We have about we have trained about 25,000 uh, per year, and we have about 25,000 annual validated self-assessment questionnaires. So the main services we are providing uh, right now is uh, Preverisk, which is the health and safety. If you tell, it's about measure, measuring the satisfaction of your guests via different ways, being the most one common is a mystery chopper. And also we provide NutriCook, which is about improvement in nutrition, also sustainability. Sustainability, it's something uh, like to show your commitment to sustainable development, like travel life, green loop, whatever of the common known standards. We also provide the hotel claim service management, 
And we also offer our technologies, InCook, which is a multinational software for management of F&DB department, and AppleCheck, which is a cloud software and the multi-platform for managing audits and the control procedures. Okay, also as part of the presentation of private risk, because now we are in Egypt, so maybe you have some interest also to know a little bit about a sample, a little sample of our current clients. Um, okay, uh, to start with, uh, Egypt uh, Tourism, uh, Ministry of Tourism and Ministry of Health and Egyptian Hotel Associated has already um, uh, contracting us to provide sort of global assessment for all hotels in Egypt. We have already started two phases of this project in Horgeda uh, and also for the Nile Cruises in Luxor and Aswan. And then later on, we will see what else we can provide uh, for this uh, kind of uh, support for the health and safety in Egypt. We also have Rixos uh, chain and the Barone chain. We are providing our services to the whole Sunrise uh, chain in Egypt. Uh, just Hotel Group, the same, Cleopatra, Steigenberger. It's only just an example, Tropitel, also, we are uh, approved third audit party for the Travel Life Organization. Uh, also, we provide our services to Thea Heights, to the Boy Group, to Sultan Garden, to Bikal Baths. It's only a small sample, but we have different services. It's not necessary that every client is getting the whole back of our services. But we do have a direct contracting with all these sample of clients currently in Egypt. Okay, let us uh, start to move a little bit into the technical uh, content of today's uh, meeting. What is the relevance and importance of uh, pest control for hotels? Okay, you know, all know that pest control in a hotel has to use pesticides. Pesticides, in another word, it's a poison. Uh, a poison can kill. Uh, now we are not worried from diarrhea, we are not worried from stomach cramps, but we are worried from something which can be much more severe if the best control provider, doesn't matter best control company or in-house department, is not getting a close supervision or a sort of follow-up for the safety precautions. So this is one part. Another part, we all know about some news. Uh, this guest has seen a cockaracha in a restaurant, common flies in the restaurant, taking picture, uploading them in whatever TripAdvisor or whatsoever. And then all these are not really good for our business. So that's also relevant for the topic of today. Also, another important point that we need to consider is the infestation with the bed bugs. All of us know that um, this is a kind of a nightmare for the hotels because it's very easy to convert into an outbreak. And the infestation rate is very high. And that also should be part of our concern or relevance for the topic of the best control in the hotels. We all know uh, these days it's very easy uh, to communicate the claims of the guests. I have been in this hotel, I had this uh, problem with my skin. I, I'm not sure if it is a bed bugs or if it is a traces or pesticide or whatsoever. So all these should not be very good for the business. You, you don't want your guest to be upset, to make a complaint against you. And also, you don't want disease to have, to affect uh, your repetition. So it's all things that we need to consider. We need to object to minimize or to prevent if it is possible. What other concerns or relevance for the best control uh, auditing in the hotels? Of course, we all know about the problem of the bed bugs, and then um, this can convert into some uh, um, titles in the newspapers. So the last thing we want is to have our name of the hotel or the brand combined with some sort of a complaint or our, a newsletter title talking about big bugs outbreak in whatsoever uh, place in the world. And talking about the poison, 
as, as I said in the beginning, this uh, is very serious. It's not a diarrhea, it's not a vomit. This is something that can kill. And we have a lot of uh, information in the news uh, letters about uh, cases with uh, people who died simply because of problem with the safe use of the pesticide. So the issue that we wanted to make sure we have a good safety control, what we call it in brief risk pesticide safety. This should be in place, should be followed up from time to time to make sure we are really far from this area. Because the last thing we want is to have a diet guest or a diet staff in our hotel because it has been a pesticide poisoning. Okay, now I am going to move a little bit more into the technical content of today's meeting. I'm going to talk about the different modules we are Brevresk is offering for the best to control audit. So the first one is the best to control audit in the hotel. And actually this covers the pesticide safety in the best to control stores, effective and the safe best to control in kitchen, effective and the safe best to control in public areas. So let us start to see uh, what is relevant for the pesticide safety in the best to control store. Okay, as all of you know, the best to control store is the place where all the operation of the best to control handling in the hotel is placed. So for people who are not really familiar with this term, a best to control store is a place where the best to control can have their pesticide, but also they need to make all kinds of preparation, dilution of the different kinds of the pesticides. And now I'm going to show for you some of the pictures uh, from part of different clients we have uh, receiving this service. And as you can see, you can already compare between uh, the best control uh, store in a normal situation, in a normal hotel, and what you can see. Everything has to be well organized, well documented, uh, first in, first out, all kinds of information are available. So just a look, to look at this, it good, uh, it have, it reflect a good impression about the general organization. But it's not only about organization, because I wanted to be honest with you, from our experience, we know some of the best to control uh, companies or safety control, best to control providers, even in hotels, they do a mix between different pesticides and they tell you, wow, this has a fantastic effectiveness. Yes, it is possible to have a good effectiveness killing cucaracha or whatsoever, but from the safety point of view, this is something we would strongly recommend not to follow. Why? Because if you mix two different pesticides, two different chemicals, you don't know what is the end result. It can be something really bad. It can be something dangerous for the general environment or for the general safety of the guests using this place. So first of all, we, we, we review in the best to control store what kind of pesticides they have. We wanted to make sure first place there is no internationally banned pesticides because they are known to be very harm for the general safety or for the general environment. We wanted to make sure that uh, people have different pesticides and they have different flasks, their one, and everything has to be well labeled as you can see because you wanted to avoid any potential cross-contamination from, from uh, pesticide A with pesticide B, for example. That should not be really good for the safety of the pesticide application. Also, it's important in the best control store is to review the ambient temperature because uh, different pesticides have different threshold for the ambient temperature. And when in the summer, in the hot summer in Egypt, temperature is going very high, this is not good because uh, this chemical, again, can convert into other products. And we don't know what are these other products. It can be safe or it can be not safe uh, for the safety of the guests or the staff. It's also important for us to review uh, during the part of visiting the best control store, 
uh, the personal protective equipment because the system we recommend to implement is to ensure the safety of the guests but also the safety of the staff everybody is valuable we wanted to make sure nobody can be damaged by the poisons or the pesticides being used and as you can see we also uh, require some basic hygienic uh, uh, infrastructure inside the store i have seen people using dirty water for pesticide dilution that's very bad again we, we don't recommend with this i have seen people they don't have uh, potable water source in their uh, best to control store which is not also good because this is important to clean the stuff to clean hands to clean the tools being used and so on so all this kind of recommendation this is only a sample uh, because the time will not allow us to cover everything but i only show you some examples from the recommendations we provide uh, or we recommend for the best to control the stores uh, also as i said we review all pesticides and we also review the dilution recommended rates because if you have an over dilution from a particular pesticide this is very bad for the public health of the guests but if you have uh, an under dilution for a particular pesticide this is will not make a good effective of the use the business side. So the best thing is to try to be as accurate as possible during the process of the dilution of the different pesticides. And actually the Ministry of Health is the one entitled to provide the recommended dilution rates as per approved pesticide. So during our visits to the hotels or the audits, we ask for simulation, for dilution, to test the awareness, the knowledge of the people. And if they are doing this in the right way or over dilution or under dilution, let me share with you uh, some of the feedback, the common feedback that I always find when we start working with a new hotel, that the people tell us, yeah, yeah, when we have uh, a high rate of infestation, for example, for flies or whatsoever, we increase uh, the concentration. And this is very wrong because when you have a high rate of infestation of a particular pest, you should increase the frequency of application, but you should never increase the concentration of the dilution. Because as I said, increasing the concentration of the dilution, the only thing we'll do is to provide more amount of traces elements from this pesticide. And these traces elements can later on cause troubles for the guests which you can start with a very light trouble like uh, harsh or irritated skin and up to whatsoever you can imagine until uh, damaging or putting a danger of the life of the guest. So this is a very important point that we need to consider. Okay, what else we, we cover during the first module of the best to control audit in the hotel? We also cover effective and safe best to control in kitchen why the kitchen because you know cockroach or best inside uh, in general or flies they don't come because they love us they come to our places because they look for the food and when we are not providing a good level of cleaning in general this can be a nice invitation for them to come come visit us eat whatever you wish so that is the issue we also include in our in our service for this kind of audit uh, a visit to the kitchen uh, not to review the, um, the hasab or whatsoever but in this case to make sure uh, uh, for example as you can see in the photos this this part of the kitchen it's very hard to clean because um, it's it's impossible to clean because it's very rough or you can see this is only a few examples huh? You can see a tube like this, which is a good source for best infestation. Uh, so prevention, prevention is very important. Uh, in this audit, we don't want also only to cover the corrective action taken by the pesticide, but we also want to provide or to cover the part related to preventing the infestation. And this is actually is very good because the more you are preventing, the less you are using the chemicals and this is very good, uh, very good for the public health, very good for the environment. What also we include in our visit in kitchen is that we open at random some of the food processing equipment, uh, like a, a cook or a fryer, uh, oil fryer whatsoever, because normally 
either the best control department in-house or the external best control company, they should have a regular schedule for injection uh, of uh, pesticide gel inside the food uh, equipment. And then we review uh, this part. There are many other things, but it's only just an example of the, uh, the part is included in this part. Also, in the third part, handling with effective and safe best control in guest area, we include in our audit. We go outside in the public area, we, we, we look at the effective. For example, here you can see uh, this is very well labeled uh, uh, um, mechanical best control or BT stations, you call it like BT station. It's very important to be well locked. And it's very important to be, when you open it, to find uh, the poison, to find it active. Uh, but you can open it, you can find it empty. Or in some examples, you can find the key attached to the box, which is very wrong, because any small kid can open it with a key. And it is a safety concern. Also, we review the hunting, uh, uh, fly hunting units, uh, what kind of treatments uh, the hotel should have in manholes, all this kind we, we cover in the part related to the public uh, area uh, visit. Okay, and then the second module uh, we present with the pack of the best control audit. I think it's very interesting because it's about sim audit simulation with bugs. Okay, all of us, we know about bed bugs, and we know it's, it's, it's an insect that can be easily spread uh, in, in the hotel. What do we do here? We uh, make simulation. We, get, we go to a room, we say, okay, let us suppose that this room has a guest complaining from uh, some harsh or some scale problem, and we suspect it can be a room infested with bed bugs. So, the good thing in this part of the audit is that we make like a bay roll. Uh, we invite maybe uh, some person who can pretend he's a guest. We have somebody from, from the front office. We have somebody from the best control department or the external company. So all interested parties should participate because this is a teamwork. Everybody should participate. So you should you, you see now we ask the best control to start in inspecting the room and then we take notes oh you did this in a good way but you should also include this part or you should do it in that way something like this and maybe in the payroll we can bring some insects to see how clever they are to confine them i mean the bed bugs and then once it is proven that this room has a positive, in, uh, supposedly it's not true, it's a supposedly positive infestation, then the next part we should ask the guest to leave the room, but first we need to inspect his luggage, his clothes, because otherwise he can act as a carrier for the bed bug for the next room. Also, all the bags should be labeled clearly so that in the uh, laundry, it's not a chance of cross contamination. So all these parties we consider in our visits. Here you can see uh, it's a, a note that this kind of linen is infested by bed bugs and so on. And it's very important also during this part of the simulation to review that the best control team is ready with all the tools they need to perform this kind of simulation. So it's very nice because in this way you keep your people in alert because the problem that when some room is presenting a bed bug infestation and the, the hotel or the different departments being led by the best control department are not really ready or in a standby position, then time here is very critical because you start with training people for early detection, the housekeeping uh, men, they should know about the symptoms of uh, bed bugs infestation because they are the most to visit the room and to provide the service. So we should not wait until the client or the guest is uh, coming with a complaint. First, we need to train the housekeeping uh, for the symptoms and then we need to create a cycle of communication to the best control department and then the best control department they need to be ready with all the tools and trained how to handle these kinds 
because early detection and the early handling of the bed bugs infestation in hotels can prevent a terrible nightmare of a bed bug outbreak. So that is the issue. Also, you need some help from engineering for the safety precautions to cut the electricity to the room. And now we can see in, in, in some of our clients' simulations, they start already uh, handling or spraying the room. There is a particular protocol uh, that should be followed. For example, I have seen many uh, best control companies or whatsoever, they say, okay, we spray it like three, two days, four, five days. No, it's not enough. You need to do this for at least 15 days because uh, the cycle, the life cycle of the insect of the bed bugs is about 14 days. And the problem with the eggs, they are highly resistant to the pesticide. So you don't want to kill the adult or the live insects and to keep the eggs for being uh, possible to hatch up after a, a period where you are no more uh, providing the treatment. So this is an example of common uh, wrong practice that in very risk we don't uh, recommend and we may make sure we correct it. So now you can see the team of the best control providing the spraying, the treatment for the subocidity uh, infested room. You can see by doing all this, then at the end of the day, your people will be ready to handle any problem in a very short time. And that is the objective. That's what you want to reach. Every part of the room should be covered in a very professional way. Also, the housekeeping stores, we ask them to go there. Why? Because you can handle the room very well, but if you leave the housekeeping store, this is a gap that can create cross-contamination another time or reinfestation another time. So you want to cover all potential pointers that can uh, provide you with the infestation. Having said this, we should also be aware about the importance of the laundry also, the simulation of the bed bugs include visit to the laundry with a mock drill of a linen supposedly infested with the bed bugs. And then we ask the laundry, please show us how we are going to handle this. So it's again, it's a good way to mix between audit and the training. So now the laundry should be trained how to receive the infested laundry at which temperature it has to be handled for which, which time what kind of isolation he has to follow, what other precautions he needs to follow to avoid having the spread of infestation uh, being uh, done inside the laundry. Okay, the last part or the last module of the audit we are offering is a visit to the staff accommodation. Okay, why we would like also to include uh, some sort of supervision for the best control in staff accommodation. I have many reasons to tell you about. Um, the data has confirmed it. It's not 100% of the source of the bed bugs, but honestly speaking, it can be number one. And uh, number one of, out, uh, of outbreaks bed bugs in hotels, they simply start in the staff accommodation. And why is this? Because it's normal, we only care about where the guest, where the client is. We have nothing against this. But besides this, we recommend a little bit of follow-up also for the staff accommodation. Because if there is no follow-up at all, there is no audits at all for the best control in the staff accommodation, you can reach it to the photo uh, you can see. And then it's very easy for any staff Suppose that you have a houseman and this is the room of the houseman. So the houseman himself, who should act as the first point to detect the infestation in the hotel, will be the one carrying this infestation to your hotel, to your guest room. And that, that is the relevance of including the staff accommodation audit in this pack. Also, uh, another, another relevance or importance um, is a basic hygiene practices, because uh, being a part of being related to best control, it's also part related to general hygiene precautions. If you have a food handler and you provide him with soup, with sanitizer in your kitchen, but you never do this in the staff accommodation, he will have the habit to use a toilet, but never um, clean his hands properly. 
or as you can see in the other photo, you can have the room of the stuff uh, full with a spider network. You can imagine what kind of stuff you will be acting like this. It's not necessary is that uh, everybody is the same. These are some few examples. Maybe other stuff conditions are perfect, but you wanted to keep them good by providing a control from time to time uh, for them. You can see this is sample of a food in some of the hotels, uh, stuff accommodation. It's not good because you cannot imagine uh, staff eating this food and then coming to work in your hotel. That's why it's important to provide a sort of control, a sort of follow up for the pest control and the basic hygiene requirements for the staff accommodation. Okay. So the last part we also include in our pack for the best control, it's very interesting. It is a documentation system. And why is a documentation system? Simply because after some time, you can receive a claim from a guest who has been in your hotel. And this claim can be not related to diarrhea or vomit, but related to some problem with best control. And now you don't have this tool to handle this kind of claim. We provide you with this tool. I give you only here a few examples of our documentation system, which is in English and in Arabic. For example, we can see now this is a fumigation spraying control for food and beverage outlets and the children's clubs. What is the idea here? The idea here is that if you are going to use spraying of pesticide in a sensitive place like a kitchen or like a kids club or a restaurant whatsoever, you wanted to make sure there is no chances of cross contamination from the poison you are spreading and the people who are going to use or to eat in this place. So we arrange the, the whole process before starting. This should be documented that the kitchen or the steward have signed and they are aware they have taken adequate control measures, they remove the food, remove the whatever it has to be removed. And then after the spraying, steward is coming back again to make the cleaning. All these kinds of documentation, it only supports you to manage the process uh, in, in, in a good way, to make sure for, at first step that in reality, best to control activities are practiced in a safe way. But again, you keep these records for the future, just in case you receive a kind of a claim, then it helps you like this. It's a, I'm going to present some few examples more for uh, the documentation system that we include in our service. For example, as you can see, this one is a checklist for fumigation spraying of occupied rooms infested with bed bugs and the fleas. That is very important because it provides standard. It's like an SOB, standard operating procedure, for the best control department or best control external company and other departments, how to handle step by step any kind of bed bug infestation in your room. And you document this in Arabic, in English, because in English later on you can communicate to external parties in Arabic so that your people can understand it. So it's a guideline for them and it is providing a, du a, duty, a duty of care for yourself to defend any potential claim in the future. One last example of, uh, of our documentation system is also a complaint management protocol, because if you receive a, a complaint related to pest control, you want to record this, you want to analyze it as a pest control uh, uh, department or external company, and then you should prove that you have taken immediate action and you have analyzed the root cause of the analysis to provide repetition in the future. And then you confirm that you have taken the immediate action and the corrective action to avoid any kind of repetition in the future. And this is all it's good for managing the operation or the best to control in the hotel, but also for defending the hotel just in case in the future. Okay. So uh, maybe I can uh, start providing a conclusion about uh, this meeting or presentation uh, that we are happy to offer integrated package covering all what we have explained. Uh, we have like four components for this package. The first part is the best to control auditing in the hotel 
and as you have seen, it covers pesticide safety, pest control uh, stores, uh, kitchen requirement, preventive requirements, and public areas, safety and effectiveness. The second kind of audit is the audit about simulation with bugs, and it targets to put you, as I explained, able to early detect any kind of outbreak and to correspond in the right way to have your people ready and stand by no time to waste and the third kind of audit we are providing is the staff accommodation auditing and we have seen the relevance of this audit and the recommendation we can provide here and we combine to these three kinds of audits also a documentation system in both languages in english and arabic so that as you can see your people are acting as per a, a consolidated standard revised by Breveresk. So it's a guideline for them for all kinds of operations. You have to undertake for the best to control, but also it can help the hotel in the future in case they are receiving any kind of claims. And I think with this, uh, I am more or less done. I don't know uh, if any of the uh, colleagues have any question, then I am happy to provide the answer. Eloisa? Okay, so if anybody of the colleagues have any question, he can simply write for me in the chat or uh, click uh, at, the, at the hand. Uh, so that I can open the microphone because the microphone for all the attendants right now are switched off. Hello, Ahmed. Thank you very much for the webinar. Thank you, Eloisa. Very interesting. We don't have any question at the moment. I don't know if someone wants to ask something. We wait some minutes in case that you want to ask something else. Well, no question. That means that you explain everything very well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Louisa. Thank you for everybody. So we finished the webinar. You have the contact of Ahmed Karam in case that you want to contact him. And thank you very much. Have a good day. OK, thank you, Louisa, and thank you for everybody. Bye bye. Now you can finish the broadcasting, Louisa.